Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This one might save your butt. This is how to restore deleted audio or video. Okay, so here's the scenario. You have a very long clip and you've got a short uh, part of that clip and you've accidentally deleted the audio. And I've had people uh, ask this before from me and on forums all the time. It's so easy. It's based on match frame. It's something editors have been doing forever. Uh, very simple to do. I have a short clip, but this would also work if this came from a giant interview uh, and you had to restore that clip. It's not gonna restore all the pieces. So it's there's no way for you to automatically, you've deleted all the audio, to bring it all back in all the clips. This is for a per clip at a time. You have to do this one at a time. Okay, so let's look at the at what I've got. Uh, this was from my shoot for the yeah. Hollyland Mars 3 uh, wireless system. And coming up, I've got a clip with me introducing okay, things yep. here. And let's imagine I accidentally deleted the audio. All right, we have our so there's Holyland the clip. Mars 300 Pro transmitter. There's my video Except and my audio. I'm going to select the audio and delete it. And this is what people are talking about. They've accidentally deleted that audio. How do they get it back? And how do they get it back exactly in the same position? Because there are three things, an in point, an out point, and where it is on the timeline. Very easy. Press the F key. Now, before I press the F key, I wanna show you double clicking on this clip. And I'm gonna change from my essentials workspace. I'm going to go to the editing workspace because I wanna show you the source monitor on the left and the program monitor on the right. So if you double click on a clip in the timeline, it loads that clip and it loads the in and out area of that clip. If I double click on the zoom thing, that's the in and out points of that clip on the timeline. If you change that, it's going to change here because it is the clip. So there's no link to that clip and where it is in the project panel by double clicking on it. But if you press the F key, which is match frame, it, it looks like it does the same thing, but it's now linking to the media in the, the uh, project panel. So I'm over here on this clip, I'll tap the F key, and you can see I've matched the frame, and at the bottom there's a button here for video and a button for audio. So if I click in here, there's my audio, there are the in and out points, there's the place I want it on the timeline, I'll just go back to the opening, the beginning of this, and I'll make sure my source patching over here. If you've ever wondered what these things are, this is where I'm going to patch. So if I wanted the audio to, to be here, I could have it land here, but I'm gonna have it land right back in there. It's a good idea to right click on any one of the track targets in the other column and choose targets, follow inserts and overwrites. By just having the, the uh, not the video selected, just the audio selected, and then use the overwrite button. Overwrite, now let's check that. We have our Hollyland Mars 300 Pro transmitter set up on the Canon C100. Is that easy or what? Match frame, let's do the opposite. Let's delete the video and bring that in. It's, it's the same thing. So I'll come up here, and delete the video, select F. There's my video, I'll source patch the video, I'll unsource patch the audio, I'll make sure I'm at the beginning, I'll overwrite. And All right, there it is. we have our Hollyland Mars 300 Pro transmitter. Set. So you do have to do this uh, clip by clip, basis if you've deleted everything wow that's a, a huge problem 
my suggestion is always to back up multiple versions of things. Uh, I'll put a link in the end and in the description for saving different versions, duplicating uh, timelines. It, it's so easy to do that every single day on a really important project. Before I start Premiere Pro, I'll actually duplicate the whole project. I'll open it and then save as, and I'll name it the day that I'm working on, the date. That way, if, if I blew everything away, at least I've got yesterday's version that has all that, that uh, uh, audio linked and I didn't accidentally delete it. If, anytime I'm going to do something scary to a, a timeline, I'll just go over to the timeline, right click on the timeline, and I will duplicate the timeline. And then I'll do something to the duplicate just because you never know what might happen. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, or if you want to contact me, do that through videoreveal.com. Go to our shop there and you can download a bunch of free things. You can donate once or monthly. Love, love all of our wonderful donors. Thank you so much. Uh, there's a contact form that you can contact me and I will uh, reach out to you. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep my ears uh, open to some really devastating uh, issues that you might have that have really simple fixes.